Hello YouTube, I thought that I will share some simple techniques in Fusion 360 so that you easily can make a project um, in it if you are a beginner. I am a beginner myself, uh, but I have learned some stuff that I would like to share. So I usually start off with making a 2D sketch, so press on create sketch and um, then we have three options here um, in choosing the work plane the blue axis here is the z axis we can see it up here it says z so i typically choose this one i prefer to have z upwards so just click on that surface all right so then you can simply draw whatever you like it's super easy let's uh, create a center rectangle press in the center and way you want and simply drag it out it will auto snap and if you zoom in you will get uh, some uh, higher resolution of the coordinate system so if you would like you can also type in let's say 50 then i press tab and uh, let's say 100 and then i press enter um, and there we have it a good thing to know is that uh, if you have the arrow here and zoom in Fusion will zoom in where you have the arrow. I didn't know that at the beginning, but it's a super nice feature that is good to know about. Anyways, we can add uh, some fillet or make the corners uh, a bit less cornery. Um, simply press one line and then the next one you can type in here let's say five millimeters enter there we go some warnings sometimes appear but they usually that's nothing to to care about really down here we have the orbit that makes us uh, move around in a plane. We also have the hand down here. And after you, you use the pan or the orbit, you have to press escape to get away from them. But let's make this one into 3D. So press on solid then extrude and uh, this one is already selected but if it wasn't just simply press on the surface and um, let's type in 20 if i want the height to be 20. there we have it so next thing that is good to know is to make some holes and in the beginning I tried to use some stuff up here I try this one and um, well you can get it to an order snap in the middle so it's good if you want to make a hole in the middle but if you do want your holes to be placed uh, somewhere else it's a bit harder so let's just make a hole in the middle with this one um, and then I will show you another strategy for making holes. So this other strategy that I think is better, um, you have to press on this one and then press on this one. And then you simply make, um, press create sketch and press on the planer and make circle where you want holes to be 
So let's say that we want one. Uh, here, that is six millimeters and one six millimeter here. So what you want to do then is that you want to can turn the body on and um, then we want to extrude these circles just like we did when we extruded uh, this large body here. But it's a bit hard to, to select them from here. So easiest is to press on this one to get rid of the body and then select them it's a bit hard to select them sometimes we can now press on body again and if we type in 20, uh, Fusion will uh, choose uh, cut. It will sense that it is something above here. Uh, and then we will simply have four holes here. If we were to press uh, join, nothing would happen as it is now, but if we would increase the distance to 40, let's say, we would penetrate through uh, this body here. So, but let's uh, stick to 20 and cut to make our holes. All right, so there we have them, two different strategies for making holes. I usually use this one so let's uh, do some camfering around the holes you go to modify in solid camfer and let's say four press ok and we can add some threads simply press on the wall here you can choose which type of thread you want but let's go with this one m30 right let's add some camphor to the small ones as well My computer is a bit slow, so sometimes it's easier for me to select one thing at a time. However, if you do have a faster computer, it's um, you can just press one, two, three, four, and then camp for them all together. Right, so do we need some threads in here? Perhaps, can show it again. Right, so let's take one at a time. So there we have them. Let's add some um, fillet here. A 
de vi är bara um, first part very easy project but if you know this uh, extrude wash um, tool and this thing I showed you with um, hiding body and extruding sketches cutting and joining then you can do a lot so to illustrate the move and copy tool I think that it would be good to uh, make a screw to fit in here so let's do that I will um, press new design and we will start over with a sketch again so what was the uh, it was M40 so okay so let's start off with uh, making the the um, threads of the screw let's extrude this one and uh, down to let's make it a bit longer let's make it uh, minus 30 or 40 just to illustrate All right then go to sketch again and uh, we need to make the head so now we can choose a cylinder when we have a uh, a drawing that is extruded so should the diameter be let's go with let's go with 40 and height 10 or okay let's go with 20 and we can join them together then let's make the, the camphor uh, the screw This didn't turn out too pretty, but anyways, it will fit. Can add um, fillet down here. And then um, add some threads. then um, we can make kind of uh, some hexagonal shape in here so that one can use an allen key so then let's go to sketch again and um, choose um, this one So we now need to extrude this one upwards to to make a cut. So deselect bodies, extrude, um, and um, cut. So there we have it, 
let's add some 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 fillet up here. One millimeter. This one as well. I don't know, perhaps it's possible to add a small one here as well. Let's try. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go with that. So here we have a, a screw that hopefully will fit this hole here. So what we need to do now is that we need to make a component out of this one. So let's press create components from bodies. And there we have it. And then let's create a component from this one as well. Then copy, go to the other design and we can now see that the screw isn't in place where it should be. So we can then move it upwards. Um, There we have it. So a good way to remember the heights is, well not to remember it, but it's to write them down on a piece of paper. Then you know exactly what to type in to, to move them there. So if I would have uh, drawn this one in another um, plane, I then would have to, to use uh, Um, one of these two rotates the part. Kind of like um, like this. And if if Yeah. But where do the threads go? Right, so that is pretty much some basic knowledge in Fusion 360. Um, I'm not sure why the threads didn't follow, um, but um, it was no problem getting them here again.